Hello friends, welcome to my channel, I am Raj. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look how much cellular data YouTube uses when you are enjoying your favorite videos on the go. If you are worried about your data while you're watching YouTube videos, watch this video till the end because at the end, I'm going to be giving you really good tips that you can save lots of data while you're watching YouTube videos. First, I'm going to set up the timer for 30 minutes and then I'm going to watch the YouTube videos for 30 minutes at 1080p HD quality. So I'm going to be watching at HD quality for 30 minutes and then I'm going to watch another 30 minutes with 144p which is the very low quality and then at the end we will compare how much data uses when you watch in two different qualities. A little over a year ago we started our YouTube channel and had two subscribers. We've almost reached our watch time hours and are currently sitting at 644 subs. With your help we could get to our first goal of a thousand subscribers. All right, now I am back after watching for 30 minutes at 1080p, the HD quality. So let's take a look how much data YouTube used. As you can see, before I start watching the video, my total usage was 34.51 gigabytes and YouTube data usage was 19.47 gigabytes. It is now 35.14 gigabytes and 20.10 gigabytes. 20 0.10 is just a YouTube uh, usage after I watch for 30 minutes. So if I subtract the differences, YouTube had used 0.63 gigabytes of data, which mean if you watch YouTube video for, for an hour at 1080p HD quality, the YouTube will use about 1.26, let's say 1.25 gigabytes of data. So for example, somebody has only two gigabytes limit if they watch YouTube for two hours and they're done. That's why you have to be very careful when you watch YouTube videos because the video takes lots of data than any other apps. So when you watch a video that takes lots of data, you have to know uh, which quality you're watching if you want to save the data. So now I'm going to go back and watch for another 30 minutes but this time I'm going to be watching at 144p which is the very low quality and then when I come back we will check how much data I used. All right now I'm back so uh, before I start the video YouTube usage was at 20.10 that's where we left after watching the 30 minutes and now it's at 20.17 gigabytes. You will see some extra usage on the total count because I had some other apps running the background so let's only take a look at the YouTube usage because that's what we are doing right now. So in 30 minutes it's only used 0.07 gigabytes. If you use for an hour it will use only 0.14 gigabytes which means you can watch YouTube video for 10 hours at the low quality to reach 1.5 gigabytes. But in HD quality, if you watch an hour, it's done. You almost, you're already at 1.25. But in the low quality, you can watch up to 10 hours to reach to that limit. So here you can see, when you watch in low quality, it doesn't take much um, data. But the problem, the video will be a little bit blurry. So my best advice, people listen to news or listen to music or some talkings. I, in those type of videos, the video quality is not that important. For example, some people, when they're working out, they play some workout music, play some relaxing music, or when they're driving, they can play some music on their phone and listen on their car speakers. In that, those situations, you don't really look at your screen. So you don't really care about the quality of the video. That's what I do most of the time. So in that cases, you can lower the quality. You can use YouTube for longer time with less data and that will save lots of data. Try this and you will see the difference. So I hope this video will be useful for many people. So if you like this video, give a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I will see you in another video.